Hello everyone and welcome back if you're returning, if this is your first time clicking on my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've never watched one of my meshes before, I'm a seer, I tap into past, present and future energies, I'm a psychic and a healer and I'm an open channel for the divine. And right now all my meshes are twin flame related because I'm a twin flame myself. So if you've been guided to my channel for any reason, it could be because you're led here, either because you are a twin flame, about to meet your twin flame or already in some sort of established twin flame connection. And maybe you're just looking for a bit of clarity around your love life right now. So hopefully you find it here. And I just want to say quickly before I begin, thank you to everyone who hit subscribe. It means so much and it shows that this content is actually um, reaching the people it's meant to reach. So thank you for that. Sorry, I, was just, I don't usually start with a burp. Very rarely, but thank you if you're still watching after. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, just completely put me off course now. Um, and also thank you to everyone for all the love you send me in comments, for all the likes, for all the beautiful emails you send to me and all the love you send to this channel. This channel really has, it's really become a lighthouse of love, I feel, because it's just really drawing in the most lovely people and really uplifting people about love as well. And I really appreciate the people who email me and say, I don't resonate with any of your readings most of the time, but I just love watching it. And that is the best compliment I can ever have. So thank you so, so much. So this is the first of two love readings tonight. Um, I can understand why Archangel Metatron said you'll need to keep your reading shorter and more to the point because there's going to be a lot more coming in over the next four or five weeks. And I completely understand that now. So this is the first of two messages. I'm going to keep it shorter. I'm going to start, as I always do, calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, your guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, can I ask that you please surround my children, my dog, my home, and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward this message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can I also request Archangel Michael that whoever watches this message online, you surround them, their loved ones, their home and their pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Okay. Let's clear the energy. And then I'll tell you what this message is about tonight. Or the first one, at least. I have a song lyric here I'm going to read out and I'll explain why in a moment but I'm also hearing the song heaven I'm in heaven so dancing cheek to cheek when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek so that song's for someone who's watching but this I'm going to read now today a song was brought to me now i'd never heard this song ever before and sorry i know, I know i've just shot past my nose i don't know if you saw that um now i'd never heard this song ever before and when i actually found the song that had been drawn to my attention i could not believe the lyrics so much so i had to write them down because i was feeling there's someone here who there's a really serendipitous connection 
don't know who that was, but hello to whoever just came in there. Um, there's a really, really serendipitous connection here. This person has known all along they'd find you in this lifetime. There was something, something had to, there was something here that really sort of, I feel like meshed together. Lots of serendipitous moments. But this person always knew in their heart that they would find you in this lifetime or you would come to them in this lifetime. And they're only just waking up to it now. They're remembering. So now the reason why I'm telling you all this is because when you'll understand when you hear this lyric. So I'm not going to sing because I don't know. I only heard the song today and I can't even, can't even remember the tune. It's a song by Birdie. Um, B-I-R-D-Y. I'll try and... Um, tag it in the comments below and it's called quietly yours okay so white sails and offshore lights we were passing ships in the night now i'm tracing shadows on your back like i've dreamt so many times oh for so long i've been waiting for you so long for a love like this and i was so sure i'd lost you for a minute but there's a sweetest spring at my door. So that seems, that's the light is basically saying there's a, a new beginning here at my door. Can you feel it? Just the same as before. Many years have gone by, but I knew you'd come. Quietly keeping this hope in my heart. Pray the night would bring back what I've lost. Many years have gone by, but I never forgot. I've always been yours, only yours. There was a time when I let you go, allowed myself to be swayed and pulled. For all my days, I make this vow, no words could shake me now. Cause, cause for so long I've been waiting, for so long for a love like this. And I'm now so sure, baby, I thought I'd lost you for a minute. There's a sweetest spring at my door. Can you feel it? Just the same as before. Many years have gone by, but I know you'd come. But I knew you'd come, quietly keeping this hope in my heart. Prayed the night to bring back what I'd lost. Many years have gone by, but I never forgot. I've always been yours, only yours. Quietly yours, only yours. I've always been yours, only yours. Quietly yours, only yours. So I read my read out to because this is someone who and I'll leave that notebook again in a little bit. But this person has definitely wakened up to this connection, and they've also wakened up to the past life connection they have with you as well. This is someone who's they have been understanding that they have literally been almost manifesting you back into their life. It's a very serendipitous connection. Um, and what, twin flame connections are very serendipitous, let me tell you. And I, I will, t if I remember, I'll tell you at the end about the huge serendipitous moment for my twin flame and I, because we actually should have met almost 30 years ago. We were in the same place at the same time. And I'll tell you about that if I remember the end. <laughs> but yes. And, and then to put things even in a crazier perspective, when we met each other for our first date on 11 11 2021, the place we went for dinner was actually the place we were both in at the same time almost 30 years before and never met. And that's that is for another time. <laughs> I'll try and remember and tell you a bit about it. But that's how serendipitous twin flame journeys can be. And this is somebody else who's um, seeing that right now. This person has been longing to find you again. So let's see. So the silver waterfall. Now this is high vibrational energy. This is two people, soulmates, because soulmates come out with it. This is two soulmates here who are both now vibrating at the same frequency. And I've been getting this a lot lately. Um, a lot of you Divine Feminines don't realise this yet, but your masculines are actually vibrating on the exact same frequency as you. But a lot of them are learning stuff. They are learning about themselves. They're healing. They're really taking that time to fully dig deep into their own divine purpose, their gifts. 
So although they're, although they're awakened, which I know you might go, well, if you're awakened, where are you? I need my masculine. Of course, we all feel that way. But then when you actually understand that they're playing catch up, they're figuring things out, they're learning more about their journey, they're learning more about the twin flame connection, but they are in the same frequency as you. Sorry, another burp just to confirm. Thank you. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you have to? <laughs> but yeah, this is, it's like um, the best, the best way I can describe it is, you know, like if you buy a new car or you get a mortgage for a house or you decide to purchase um, or you decide to lease a flat or something and the car owner, the car dealership or the landlord or something will say, okay, it's a done deal. Um, you've told me what your expectations. I've told you mine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I've put my heating on tonight <coughs> and it always starts to catch my breath. Um, and then it'll, so, and then it'll, it'll literally, they'll say, okay, it's a done deal, but you need to give us a few days to process and then we will deliver the keys, we'll deliver the car, we'll whatever, you know, deposit the money. <coughs> this is kind of what's happened, I feel. This is two people who have manifested this reunion, this reunion in the 3D, but there's been a waiting period, so it's almost like the manifestations have already happened, but it's now in this little holding bubble. <coughs> It's like God has given a stamp of approval. So God just went, okay, that's fine. I'll stamp my approval on that. And then it goes into this little holding bubble until it's ready to come into the 3D. And I feel this is what's happening with so many twin flame reunions right now. They've been they've been signed, been sealed, they've been stamped with approval by God. And now that moment, the moments are just waiting to come in here, those serendipitous moments, those divine timing moments. So now sometimes things can be delayed, but also sometimes things can be brought forward. So just remember that. It all depends how quickly you've moved into that energy of unconditional love for yourself. And when you give yourself that unconditional love, love every single part of yourself. That's so important. Love your life, love yourself unconditionally. And that sends out the vibration to your masculine that you're ready to heal the connection with them as well. So it's definitely that frequency is now being met by your masculine or for many of you, your masculines are now sitting in that same frequency, which is amazing. But they are learning about themselves. So, <laughs> exactly. All the signs are leading your masculine back towards you. You're getting signs, your masculine's getting signs, it's all leading them back to you. It's all leading you back to each other, but a lot of these twin flame connections, there's been so many serendipitous moments have happened from the start of your journey to now. And I mean, I'm sure, I know I can, and I'm sure you watching if you're a twin flame can also say about all the things that have happened when meeting your person. It's, you, it's mind blowing the way the divine brings people together and finds ways to bring them together just at the optimum time as well. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So yeah, there's huge serendipitous moments coming in here. Tell me a bit more before I get a few tarot in this. <laughs> divine Masculine and Yin Yang. Just what I said, the Divine Masculine is now ready. They are ready. They are in the same frequency as you. They are balanced out their dark and light energy. They've faced their shadow. They've done the work. <laughs> so sorry, another confirmation part. Can I just do something that doesn't involve me putting burps out into the... <laughs> so, yeah, this, this, this masculine or this group of masculines, they've, they've done it. They've met you. They've met your energy. They've met your frequency. Yeah. And you're about to see. You're about to see it. So look at that, boundaries. Now the masculine is learning boundaries here. 
that's part of the problem with many masculines. They haven't got boundaries. Your divine feminine lead by example. You lead by example. You show them how to set those strong boundaries. And that is how they learn to set their boundaries as well. They mirror everything you do. I'm just looking at this symbol here. I do feel this masculine's masculine or masculines. They're really tapping into that um that kind of rye energy right now, that kind of sun divine masculine energy. They're really tapping into that strongly because I'm looking at the sun on this card as well. It drew my attention. So they're really tapping into that fiery masculine sun energy. Tell me a bit more and I'll, I'll get some tarot on this. Let's see. Okay. If I need to get tarot on it, that is. Yeah, look, this is stay positive. Stay upbeat. The more positive and upbeat you sit in that energy. And look, creativity. And I think this is so important. This is to stay in your high vibration, Divine Feminine. Creativity is the way to go. It is, I mean, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a bit about why I'm stopping doing personal readings for a while in a moment, but I want to finish this section first. But this is all about staying in your high vibration. Be creative, no matter what that is, whether it's journaling, art, singing, dancing, anything that involves being creative. You know, it's just allowing your your happiness and your joy to flow. But your creativity is so important. And I know so many of you who I know personally, you're highly creative individuals. Some of you do it for a living. Um, but, you know, that the more you focus on creativity, that is expressing your divine energy. Okay, give me one more from here and then I want to get a couple of tarot cards. spiritual maturity the masculine has definitely grown they've definitely um look and maturity here as well spiritual maturity and maturity this person has definitely evolved i mean two cards of maturity come out together <laughs> they've they've matured as a person emotionally they're more emotionally available now more in that king of cups energy but they're also spiritually awake, which is awesome. And there is a distorted feminine card come out as well. So maybe this is why this masculine's had to set some boundaries here. They were maybe dealing with a distorted energy. But I don't feel that distorted energy is a main focus anymore because this person has matured and grown spiritually. They have changed their perception, yeah. <laughs> sacred women yeah they, they they definitely see you as this look because emotional freedom the sacred woman and the divine feminine energy here and emotional freedom so this masculine is realizing how much you actually mean to them how sacred their connection is with you yeah look look at that sexual freedom and the sexuality and sexual freedom now, as i said before the the sexual energy between twin flames is highly divine it's highly potent it's highly charged it's it's very potent before you've went through your awakening but you can imagine how potent it is when you've both awakened so there's a very, very high frequency comes from twin flames. Even in separation, you're still giving off a high frequency here. But when they come back together in this 3D reunion energy and they have their first, for some of you, you might not even have had your first sexual encounter yet. But if you haven't, it's going to be, it's going to be something. <laughs> but if you have, when you come back together, there's going to be a real immediate, um, there's, a, well, I'm trying to say there's, it's a very divine energy, sexual energy coupled with a deep, unconditional love is highly divine. It is almost like 
it's almost like a bat signal in the sky for God. Um, it's a very highly charged divine energy. So there's something here very sacred about this couple coming back together. Very sacred sexuality. I'm not, I don't, I don't feel I need to get any tarot on this. I'll just get some confirmation. Let's see. Let's see, anything else here? No, I think we're saying, no, we're done. And there's that manifestation card. So that's what I feel. I feel you guys have manifested this reunion with each other. But it's just in that kind of holding phase. You know, the kind of doing the paperwork phase. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. So, I'll get a couple of tarot. As I say, I'm not going to get many. I'm just going to get an overall energy from the tarot. And then, I will get... What time are we on? Okay. And then I'm going to get a song card. And maybe a hidden truth if I have time. So, let's see. Oh, my nose. They're telling me it. you've got time. <laughs> Charity and Ace of Cups have just tried to come out twice here. Both times I split the deck. So definitely a beautiful energy of um, moving quickly into this love connection. But this is someone who is now understanding. Two of Cups come out. Wow, that was fast. I barely shuffled when that flew out the deck, so... Oh, and again. <sighs> the fool jumped out the deck. This person's really ready to take a leap of faith here. They really are. This person's ready to take a leap of faith. <sighs> they, there's been an ending in this person's life. But it's pushed them into transforming themselves. Tell me more. There's a chariot. This, this, whatever this ending's been with this distorted feminine, it's pushed this masculine. Look, double moon, uh, double cancer energy as well, with the moon and the chariot and Scorpio. A lot of water here, and Aries with the fool. But this person is there. This person is leaving behind all the manipulation, all the lies, all the fear. Yeah, there's been some sort of ending here. Yeah, this person and their distorted feminine. This person is racing towards you here. I feel Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Yeah. Cycle, new cycle of love coming in here. A brand new cycle now we're coming up for the new moon. <laughs> a cycle has ended of this person fighting this connection. This this person is done fighting their love for you. They know this is a powerful past life connection. That's why that song, I'll, as I say, I'll try and remember and tag it in the comments. Listen to it. Take in the lyrics and if, if it hits you right here in the heart chakra, chances are it's for you. But this person regrets holding back in the past from you. But they, this person is done with a Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. This person is done holding back their love for you. Now, as I say, the Queen of Pentacles doesn't have to be uh, an air sign. It's just the energy that the my guides and Archangel Maestron give me for someone who was a wife or, you know, mother of their kids or something like that. <sighs> That's the truth. But there is some sort of truth coming in here as well. Six of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody who's moving away from a distorted feminine. Yeah, the Tower. Huge life-changing decision here from this masculine. Page of Cups. Healing the inner child, moving towards you in a more vulnerable way. Queen of Wands, so this is somebody who could have left a Queen of Pentacles to go towards a Queen of Wands. Doesn't have to be a fire sign, just could be someone who they're very passionate about, who they find very, you know, fiery and creative, adventurous, passionate. A Queen of Wands who they see is a divine feminine. Yeah, there's that Knight of Wands energy I feel and the Ace of Wands and that manifestation. So this is oh, 
yeah this person you and this person have manifested each other but it's just sitting in a little holding bubble this masculine's in the same frequency as you yeah finally letting go of the burdens of the past this person what what knight of pentacles and high priest these cards are actually doing all the work tonight i don't need to do anything <laughs> just they're just hopping out and let's see what i mean <laughs> That's the truth. i don't need to do anything well thanks for that confirmation <laughs> two of cups uh, ten of cups and three of pentacles i mean sorry three of cups come out first though this look at this wow I mean, this is this high priest here. This person ha has, I feel like they've they sacrificed their love for you, for an ex or a partner or something like that. Yeah, somebody who kept them in this energy, but now they're awakened. They see the truth. They see through the illusions. We've got the moon card. We've got the chariot card. We've got the, the fool. This person is ready to take a leap of faith and leave behind the illusions of the past. So that's amazing. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get, I'll get a little hidden truth and a song. Let me see. What would... <laughs> a little orb just flew right into my face and right back out again. Oh. Strength that just flew out the deck as well. This must try to up his courage to come towards his Queen of Cups. But look, Nine of Swords is jumping out of the deck. This person definitely needs some courage here. There's a message of some sort in the, the Knight of Cups. This person is not going to let you slip away again in this lifetime. They understand now just how how many signs and synchronicities have led you into each other's life and this person does not want to let that go they don't want to let it go so let me get a, a quick hidden truth and then i'm going to move on to my next message hopefully once i've saged <laughs> and i hope that you can forgive me one day this person is coming in definitely with an open heart and i know that i crossed the line with you one more. This person knows. I feel you leaving me, me behind. I want to feel that way again. So this person, they know they will never feel with anyone else the way you made them feel. And they wouldn't because there's nothing like a twin flame connection. I, when I hear readers going, I'm a twin flame, but I would take a kingdom spouse or a, a high level soulmate. It makes me, I, I mean, there's no love can compare. There's no love can compare to a twin flame love. I was actually, when I was out walking today, I just, I just felt so much joy for no apparent reason. And so much joy, I was actually crying. And I was just out walking and the birds were flying. And in fact, I should post it on my community page. And I was walking and the sky was really grey. Nothing was getting me down. I just, and I was actually, I thought, why am I crying? But I just felt so much happiness and joy. And it was just because I was out walking the dog and I was smiling at people walking past and the birds were in the sky. And then the direction I was walking out of nowhere, this ray or rainbow light came down. <laughs> just this one beam of beautiful, perfect rainbow colour. And I took a photo of it. And the time it took me to take a photo and then look at my the phone to see how the photo looked, I looked up and it was gone. I literally had lit about 30 seconds to take a fit picture of it before it disappeared. And at that point, I just, I feel, I feel, I'm so grateful and so blessed. And I just feel so much joy and peace and love flowing through me every single day. And it's, some days I do have my, my trials, some days I do have, you know, when I'm, I am I just try not to think about the past anymore. And I focus on the present. And it does help. It does work. 
because when you start to feel that peace and joy in the present moment of your life, suddenly everything in the past seems inconsequential anymore. It's, um, inconsequential is that a word? <laughs> I'm a writer and sometimes I get my words wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it was just a beautiful moment for me today. And it was just, it really, it really helped me to see that I'm so lucky. I am becoming a better person. The timing just wasn't right for us. So this person is saying the timing, the timing just say, look, you and I were too young. I feel that song, if you listen to the lyrics of that birthday song or watch the lyrics or whatever you want to do or read them or whatever, this is somebody saying it was so long ago. It was many years ago. We would never have coped with our twin flame journey had we met, had we tried to do this years and years ago. It's only now that we're older and wiser we can balance out our energy. But this masculine is definitely in the same frequency as you. Um, without a doubt. Yeah, I love you unconditionally. I regret lying to you. I feel you even though we're apart. So this is a beautiful, powerful soulmate energy. But definitely a twin flame energy as well. Um, the main signs that come through in the tarot spread where... So obviously Aries, I got a lot of Cancer energy, Pisces, so all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I'm trying to remember what else I picked up on, I had a bit of Earth as well. Yeah, I think that was mostly the signs, yeah. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I, I'm pretty sure there was a bit of um, Taurus. Taurus and Capricorn, possibly. I don't remember if I've got any air or not. Any air signs or not. I don't feel like I did. If any, I think probably it was, I'd probably say Libra. Let me see. Can I get a song for this connection, please? Thank you. <laughs> With or without you. So this card by you two, it's about somebody who felt they weren't able to commit to you in the past. They couldn't give you what you wanted, but they realised they can't live without you either. It's like this person was stuck between us at a rock and a hard place, you know, torn between their, their 3D life and their, their love and longing for you. But now this person's awakened, that is no longer an issue. So something to talk about by Bonnie Hart. That is my gossip card. So this person may have been worried about what people said about them leaving this Queen of Pentacles energy. You know, they could have been a very public couple who had a lot of friends, you know, this big social circle, the local church, you know, this kind of thing. <coughs> what do people at the local church say if we split up, that kind of thing. So this could have been someone who was worried about gossip and what people said about them leaving their situation so sign sealed delivered i'm yours by stevie wonder so it's so funny because i'm yours is there again and this the song i read at the start was quietly yours so this person saying whatever happens here just remember i'm yours i've always been yours i'll always be yours quietly yours always and forever and that's the energy i feel from this moment on the bottom by shania twain so remember we got um in the first song, I feel this person is definitely going to be making a vow to you because in the lyrics to that song as well, it says, I vow from this moment on not to let other people's words, ah, so not to let other words stop me, kind of, I can't remember the exact line. So this person has let people's opinions stop them moving towards what they want in the past, but not anymore. Not anymore. Is this love by white snake? So this person has taken some time to figure that out. Like, is this love or is it infatuation? But no, they know it's love now. They know it. They know it. It must be love, love, love. They know it must be love. So thank you all for watching. I'll say a quick prayer to close out. And then I'm going to move on to my second message. I hope this has been helpful for someone. God bless you, your home, your family, your pets, and God bless your unions to come in very soon in the 3D. 
may God give you that stamp of approval very, very soon. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together today and thank you for all you do for us. As we all move on with our day or night, wherever we are in the world, would you go ahead of us and dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all those who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us to overflowing today with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.